warm good afternoon to one and all. So as a part of Triple R program, we'll be discussing science and technology. As you all know, science and technology is an important part for your prelims examination. It is also included in your mains examination. So today we'll be discussing only related to prelims aspect. We'll be discussing the science and technology related topics only related to prelims aspect. That is one significance. And often one thing that happens among the aspirants is that often they neglect the topic science and technology. But it is not the case. You should not do that. So why science and technology is important? You may please note that generally 12 to 15 questions are asked from science and technology and in prelim syllabus only one keyword is given that is general science okay the keyword is general science but questions comes from science and technology aspect science and the particular technology aspect and see I have analyzed 2011 to 2021 question paper what I found out is that there is no particular trend in the examination. So I can't say that from this area this much topics come or like this area these all topics come. So as such there is no general trend. So that is why the subject is quite difficult for you guys. So there is no particular trend and it's highly linked to your current affairs. Highly linked with the current affairs topics. And see another important aspect is mostly the questions are content related questions. So you should have the content in order to answer these questions. And lastly, questions are generally application based questions. So what all things I said, generally 12 to 15 questions. Prelim syllabus, it is only mentioned as general science. So general science is really important. But science and technology, current affairs is included. So general trend is not a general trend is now there. And it is highly linked with current affairs, content related questions and application based questions. As I mentioned earlier, Last year and the uh, 2020 question paper, if you look, almost 14 to 15 questions was asked. Okay. But in 2019, almost 19 questions were asked from science and technology. So it is highly linked to your current affairs. So if you know the current affairs basics and general science basic, well and good, you can score a much score like in, a, in the examination, in the prelims examination. So that is the significance of science and technology. So moving on. See, by looking into the previous question paper analysis, I have classified the topics into space technology, emerging technologies, biotechnology, technology by government, energy, data transfer and connectivity technology, genetic engineering, defense technology, health, nanotechnology, information technology, basic or daily science. While discussing each topic, I will tell you the weightage kind of thing. So let's start our topic with space technology okay space technology so yes yes so focus area see i have divided the topics into such a way that i have classified the topics first and i have made a category so that there will be focus area as well as probable area in focus area i have included the previous year questions uh, content as well as the focus areas and in probable areas i'll be explaining you the main stuffs that will be expected to be asked in prelims 2022. So I have each topic, I have classified the topics into focus area and probable areas. See, I can say only probable because UPSC, unpredictable. We cannot assure that this and this will come. So I have termed it as probable areas. So we have focus area and we will have probable areas. See, first of all, space technology. See, whenever you hear the term space technology, what should come to your mind? One is ISRO, NASA, ESA, Canadian Space Agency, JAXA, etc. So important missions of ISRO, NASA, ESA are important. Please refer the websites of ISRO and NASA. See, I have included the website details in this material itself. If you want the pictures and other details, please do refer the website. I haven't added much pictures. If you need pictures, just refer the website, ISRO website and NASA website. ESA and all, not so important. So, mission. See, already UPSA has asked about IRNSS. What is IRNSS? NAVIC. Astrosat, already asked. Our space? Observatory. Observatory. Lisa already asked, Mangalyan already asked, Chandrayaan basic uh, has been asked, Chandrayaan 2 is not asked yet, Voyager 2, 
was asked, Pathfinder, etc. was asked. So these are the focus areas. You should focus this aspect. And orbit is important. Geostationary orbit, geosynchronous orbit, polar orbit, all orbit related stuffs are important. Then satellites are important. Launchers are important. For example, GSLV MK3 was already asked. Sounding rockets already asked. RLV, scramjet, PSLV, remote sensing satellite, all these are key areas. Make a one liner of all these topics. Next is solar system. Solar system, basically sun is important. Goldilocks zone already asked, gravity already asked, black holes already asked, singularity, string theory, etc. were already asked. So these topics are your focus areas, very important focus areas. See, after going home, just go through the previous year question papers, you will find these topics there also. So I have taken it from previous year question papers, focus areas, okay. So next is Probable areas. So we'll be discussing probable areas kind of thing. So each topics we'll be discussing in probable areas. See, first is black hole. Black hole is an evergreen topic. See, what is basically a black hole? Yeah, almost we can say that it is a dead star. So it is a place in space where no light can literally penetrate. No light can get through the black hole. So that is black hole. And it is almost say that we can say that it is a dying star. But make sure that our sun will never turn into a black hole as it is not big enough to make a black hole. Very important. Statement-wise questions can be expected. And another important aspect is in the center of black hole, we can find gravitational singularity, a one-dimensional point which contains a huge mass in an infinitely small space. That is called a singularity. And that is also important. And laws of physics does not apply to black hole. Very important, laws of physics does not apply to black holes. Last year, current affairs also, if you consider, black hole related questions was there. Okay, current affairs in that also, black hole related questions were there. Moving on, see, related to black holes, few terms you have to make sure that these terms comes under black hole. You don't have to study, but make sure that you know these terms. One is singularity, next is relativist jet, third is photon sphere, even horizon, accretion disk. All these terms are associated with black holes. They can ask you a question like, which of the following terms are related to black holes? They won't be asking about even horizon or singularity kind of thing. They'll just ask what are the terms associated with black hole. That is the significance of this figure. Moving on, we have categories of black hole. We have stellar black hole, supermassive, intermediate mass, miniature black holes. You can read it later. I'm not going to explain it. There isn't the material. I'll definitely share the material, no worries. Moving on further, see, this was often asked in your test papers also, two, three times I think, question was there. That is James Webb Space Telescope. See, it works in infrared area. Very important, it works in infrared area. And it is an international collaboration between NASA, ESA, and Canadian Space Agency. And what is the mission? Search for the first galaxies or luminous object formed after Big Bang. And what is another name of Big Bang? Expanding universe hypothesis. Expanding universe hypothesis. Very important. And it states that all the current and past matter in the universe came into existence at the same time, roughly 13.8 billion years ago. So James Webb Space Telescope is important. Apart from that, Hubble Space Telescope is also important. Make a note. Hubble Space Telescope is also important. Moving on further. Next is very, very important. Parker Solar Probe. Parker Solar Probe. So NASA's Parker Solar Probe has now flown through the sun's upper atmosphere, the corona. See, I'll explain to you the layers of the sun. So about PSP, it was launched in the year 2018. It is the part of NASA's Living with a Star program. Very important to explore the aspect of sun-earth system that directly affect life and society. And it is named after UG Newman Parker, not so important. And it uses carbon composite shield and all, not so important. So Parker Solar Pro is aimed at studying the corona, solar layers, okay. And see, consider the structure of the sun, very, very important topic, very, very important topic, static topic of your science and technology. See, sun has got a very inner core, then we have radiative zone, core, radiative zone, conductive zone, photosphere, chromosphere, corona. Very important. The order can be asked. Very important. I have given it in the picture. 
core, radiative zone, convective zone, photosphere, chromosphere, corona. Important. Okay. See, you can study it later. It is there in the picture. Moving on further, see various space missions associated with the each planet I have given. For example, NASA, Mercury. NASA, we have messenger. ESA, we have BP Colombo. NASA, again, Venus, we have Magellus, Da Vinci, Veritas, etc. ISRO, we have Shukrayan. ESA, Envision, Venus Express, etc. So, you have to study this figure. I am not explaining it further. I will share the material. You have to study each planet and the particular mission. Mission is launched by which body? Is it NASA, ESA or ISRO? You have to study. Literally important. It can be asked in this year prelims. Moving on further. The next topic is, see, one orbit that was in use is mole near orbit. Mole near orbit. See, it is the second common medium earth orbit. It is a medium earth orbit. It was invented by the Russians and it works well for observing high latitudes. Okay, mole near orbit. Just make sure that there is an orbit called as mole near orbit and it offers a usual, useful alternative to geostationary orbit. As satellites in a geostationary orbit are parked over the equator, so they don't work well for far northern or southern locations, which are always on the edge of view of GOC. It is mostly used for equator kind of thing, equator related thing. We have an orbit called as mole near orbit. Okay, very important. Russia invented this orbit, mole near. It is a medium earth orbit. It was in news. That is why I have included. It is a medium earth orbit. Important. Moving on further. See, this is directly taken from the site. I have just copied paste from ISRO's website. Mars Orbiter Mission, you have to study. LVMX, Care Mission, you have to study. AstroSat, you should, one-liners will do. One-liners will do. GSLV F10 EOS O3, you have to study. PSLV C51, Amazonia 1, it was in your current affairs, you should study. PSLV C50, PSLV C49, all these ISRO missions, see, go through the website of ISRO, there is a tab called as missions, in that missions, these missions are given, these can be probably asked in your prelims, very important, one liners will do, just go through the missions, okay, moving on further, we have spacecraft or satellites related to ISRO. It is again, I have screenshotted it from the website, ISRO's website. One is communication satellite, earth observation satellite, scientific spacecraft, navigation satellite, experimental satellite, small satellite, student satellite. See, you can read this stuff later. This is screenshot from ISRO's website. You can refer the website also. Moving on further, launchers. Again, see, here's the link. You can directly go through the link also. Launchers, we have SLV. It was asked in your test series and all. We have ASLV. PSLV is known as the working host of ISRO. GSLV. GSLV MK3 is known as the fat boy. Sounding rockets. I'll explain to you what is sounding rockets. RLV, reusable launch vehicle. Scramjet engine. Scramjet engine and all, I'll explain to you. All these launchers are important important it is directly taken from the isro's website important moving on further what are sounding rockets see isro launches small rockets from the rohini series on suborbital and atmospheric flights for aeronomy and meteorological studies atv's isro's heaviest sounding rocket see it has got a huge sound sounding rocket it can be used for microgravity experiments and for precursor experiments see sounding rockets make sure a one liner note of sounding rockets important Moving on further, see, again screenshot from NASA's official website. NASA's important missions, Artemis, Moon's interaction with Sun, NASA's Moon mission. Then we have DART mission, Hubble Space Telescope, James Webb Space Telescope, Juno mission, International Space Station, Perseverance Rover for Mars. Uh, then we have Parker Solar Probe. That's all. See, one liner of all these missions you have to study. One liner will do. You have to study all these missions. Very important. Screenshot from NASA's official website. Okay, important. Moving on further. Next is relatively very, very, very important topic. That is emerging technologies. Emerging technologies. Very, very important topic. So that we have discussed space technology. Second is emerging technologies. Okay, emerging technologies. See, I have analyzed the previous year question paper. What I found is that 
these areas one is blockchain technology you know about blockchain right second is cryptocurrencies name some cryptocurrencies bitcoin ethereum libra litecoin etc okay and 3d printing digital india project loan etc were taken from previous year question papers internet of things you know artificial intelligence you know robotics with robots drone technology is important i'll explain to you augmented reality virtual reality extended reality mixed reality it was asked once so there are chances of repeating the question anyway you have to study it so these should be your focus area and next is going through the probable areas see first is biometrics what is biometrics yeah fingerprint face recognition technology so that is biometrics so biometrics allows a system to recognize users by biological markers such as face voice fingerprint many people already have one or several of this on their laptops smartphones etc it may finally end the password parody see finally we'll end this password kind of thing voice recognition fingerprints that is what is called as biometrics okay see biometrics different types of biometrics i have given behavioral biometric identify identifiers are there physical biometric identifiers are there chemical and vein biometric identifiers are there see i have given the figures you can look at later signature face recognition eye scanners fingerprints voice recognition etc okay see one line of questions can be asked really important okay emerging technologies is literally very important for your prelims it can be asked moving on further we have natural language processing as the name indicates it is a subfield of ai you know artificial intelligence that aims to develop systems that can analyze and communicate through human language natural language processing again important moving on further quantum computing again it was asked in your test series and all it is the exploitation of collective properties of quantum states such as superposition entanglement to perform computation it solves problems faster and more accurately in some cases once that stumps even modern supercomputers quantums okay quantum computing important okay quantum computing important moving on further see robotic process automation robotic process automation see like ai and machine learning robotic process automation is another technology that is automating jobs it is the software to automate business processes such as interpreting application processing transaction dealing with data and even replying to emails see everything will be done by this robots so robot process automation processing transaction data dealings replying emails everything will be done by this robot so rpa automates repetitive tasks that people used to do very important one liners can be asked next is edge computing you know earlier we had cloud computing now edge computing is designed to help solve some of those problems as a way to bypass the latency caused by cloud computing so it can exist on the edge that's why it is called as edge computing see edge computing can be used to process time sensitive data in remote location with limited or no connectivity to a centralized location to a centralized location edge computing can act like mini data centers mini data centers similar to cloud computing important we see these are all emerging technologies okay it is often in the department of science and technology website also so literally important moving on further we have 5g i don't have to explain much you know five generation fifth generation important see i have given the classification of 3g 4g and 5g deployment 3g 2004 6 4g 2006 10 5g 2020 6g like forecasted to be in 2028 2030 bandwidth i have given latency i have given average speed also i have given really important 5g okay questions can be expected moving on further see opportunities that come with 5g see important emerging technologies one probable question that can be expected is advantages and disadvantages of the technology so you should note that apart from that challenges faced by that technology see advantages disadvantages challenges faced by the technology and its applications can be asked okay see application based question even from agriculture even from other area science and technology related application questions can be also asked so i have not included that kind of aspect so it comes under your particular agriculture and economy topics but application based it can be classified as science and technology also 
Okay. So, opportunities that comes with 5G, advancing societies, transforming industries, elevating experience. See, read all these points one. One time read will do. Okay, moving on further. See, what is Li-Fi? See, what is the full form of Wi-Fi? Yeah. So, Li-Fi? Light fidelity. Okay. So, features, Li-Fi, Wi-Fi, I have given. See, Wi-Fi, radio waves are used. Li-Fi, light waves with the help of LED bulbs and all. And interference, do not have any interference issue. Wi-Fi, have issues, nearby access points and all. Privacy, light does not pass through the walls. Here, radio frequency signals pass through the walls. Data transfer speed, I have given. Frequency of operation, 10 times frequency spectrum of radio, there I have given. Coverage distance, about 10 meter. There, the coverage dis distance will be more, about 32 meters. Data sensitivity, high dense environment, work in less dense environment. Very important classification between Li-Fi and Wi-Fi. Very, very important questions can be expected this year. Literally important. Moving on further, next is IoT. You know what is IoT. I don't have to explain much. See, it is a seamless connected network of embedded objects, devices with identifier in which machines to machine communication without any human intervention is possible. See, wearable watches, all these comes under this. And make sure that phones, tablets and PCs are not included as a part of IoT. Very important. Phones, tablets and PCs are not included as a part of IoT. Okay, important, important. Moving on further, see I have given the Internet of Things uses. You can go through it later. All the uses I have mentioned, medical, industrial, automotive, agriculture, military, all uses I have mentioned, have a look at it. What are the uses of IoT kind of questions can be expected. Really important. Moving on further, see what is metaverse? See, it can be understood as a combination of multiple elements of technology including virtual reality, augmented reality, video where users live within digitally enhanced surrounding. Metaverse, that is what the term metaverse. So, in metaverse, we have virtual reality. Okay. See, it is the use of computer modeling and stimulation that enables a person to interact with an artificial 3D visual or other sensory environment. Example, games like World of Warcraft, etc. And VR closes the world, okay. VR closes the outside world and transposes an individual providing complete immersion experience. That is virtual reality. See, already one question was asked in last year, not last year, 2019 prelims related to virtual and augmented reality. This can be expected also. Repetition can be expected. And what is augmented reality? It is an enhanced version of the real physical world that is achieved through the use of digital visual elements, sound or other sensory stimulus delivered via technology, games, Pokemon Go, etc. And what is hologram? They are virtual three-dimensional images created by interference of light beams that reflects real physical objects, hologram. Okay, next is avatar. Avatar in the metaverse is a representation of an individual in the virtual world. Digital avatar. Avatar, okay, and enables the person to function like an actual human being. Avatar, okay, avatar kind of thing. And we have platform developer user distinction. See, it will get very personal and tailor-made for the user. In this context, it is important that role paid by the platform developers and the US is, users is clearly understood. There will be a platform, that's all. So, very important, virtual reality, augmented reality, hologram, avatar, platform developer, user distinction, etc. Really important. Okay, moving on further. See, drone technology, you know, now we are moving with drone technology. Drone technology rules and all is released by the government. See, important applications of drone technology can be asked in prelims perspective. Which of the following statements correctly defines the application of drone technology? That kind of questions can be expected. See, agriculture, forest and wildlife, urban development, healthcare, traffic management. I have given all these drone technology applications. You may please go through it. Important. Moving on further, see facial recognition techno technology. Facial recognition technology it is used in traffic signals and all nowadays. It is a kind of what? Biomarker. Biomarker. So, it is a way of identifying or confirming an individual's identity using their face. It can be used to identify people in photos, videos or in real time. And it is used as a face print method. Okay, it uses a face print method and see the figure. 
and see your face is made up of 80 distinguishable features, facial recognition technology measures various facial curves on a micro scale. These features are translated into a unique code. Your facial signature is matched to other facial signatures, similar to fingerprinting and all. This is done. Face recognition technology. See, this can be asked because in Kerala and all now it is being implemented. Face recognition technology, important. Next is very, very important biotechnology. See, biotechnology, your focus areas should be GM crops in India. See, now how many GM crops are there in India? Cultivated, only one, BT cotton. See, what is BT stands for? Bacillus thuringiensis. you know that. So, GM crops in India, we have BT cotton, BT brinjal, BT mustard. See, in news, okay, in news. And Bolgard and Bolgard too, it is associated with BT cotton. It was asked in last year. And regulation of GM crops, who is regulating? Genetic Engineering Appraisal Committee. It is under which ministry? Ministry of Forest Environment and Climate Change. Okay, literally very important Ministry of Forest Environment and Climate Change. And advantages and disadvantages of GM crops is very important. And see, bio-related terminologies are really important. For example, what is bio-toilets? What is bio-sensors? What are bio-pesticides? What are bio-fertilizers? Bio-effectors. See, effectors are kind of fertilizers. What is bio-remediation? All bio-related terms, if you know, and if you come across any term, make a note of this. One liner will do important. It can be asked. Okay. So, focus areas, GM crops, regulation of GM crops, bioterminologies. And next is probable areas. See, already it is asked transgenic and cisgenic organism. And if the genetic material is taken from different species. See, genetics I have included in a separate module. If genetic materials is taken from different species, then the resultant product is transgenic. And if the genetic material is taken from Spain species from different organisms, Spain species it is called as cisgenic. So cisgenic organism and transgenic organism, it was asked in UPSC earlier, can be expected also. Okay, it can be repeated, similar kind of questions can be repeated. Next is, see we have genome editing techniques, we have CRISPR case 9, ZFN, sing finger nucleases, talents is there, transcription activator like effector nucleases. All these are important, you can read it later. See CRISPR case 9, I'll explain you in detail. See CRISPR case 9, ZFN, talents, all these are genome editing techniques. Genome editing techniques, important. See genetic engineering and biotechnology, if you are very much interested, you can read 12th standard NCRT. Biotechnology and genetic engineering, okay. Genetic Mendel slow and all, they won't ask you. They are pakka static area law of inheritance, law of dominance, etc. Not so important, but anyway, you don't have to go through it. I'm not sure if they ask you. <laughs> okay. So, uh, very static, it won't be asked. Okay. And mental did experiments in? P, peace. Okay. And see, what are the focus areas of genetics? One is basics of RNA and DNA. This I have included in biology part in this material itself. Next is recombinant DNA technologies, genetic changes and mutations, genome sequencing, RNA interference. See, all these were previously asked by UPSC. Basics, RNA, DNA, recombinant DNA technologies, genetic changes, genome sequencing, RNA interference. All these were previously asked by UPSC. And probable areas, I would say, one question that can be expected is genetic disorders in India. Genetic disorders in India. You know common genetic disorders are beta thalassemia, cystic fibrosis, sickle cell anemia, spinal muscular atrophy, hemophilia, etc. See, I have given here beta thalassemia is a blood disorder caused by the production of hemoglobin, cystic fibrosis that causes severe damage to lungs, digestive system, etc. Sickle cell anemia, SCD is caused by RBCs. Okay. Next is spinal muscular atrophy. It is characterized by weakness and wasting in muscles. Okay. All these are what? Next is hemophilia. Again, hemoglobin related. All these are genetic disorders which can be asked. Statement wise questions can be expected. Moving on forward, see crop modification techniques. See with figures I have given, crop modification techniques really important. Can be asked in your prelims. One is cross breeding. Combining two sexually compatible species to create a variety with the desired rights of parents. Crossbreeding. 
Next is mutagenesis, use of mutagens, okay. Next is polyploidy, protoplast fusion, transgenesis, genome editing, all these are important. See, figures, it can be understood. If I read it, it won't be visible to you. If I explain it also, it will take a lot of time. Crossbreeding, mutagenesis, polyploidy, see one liner will do. One liner, sometimes they will ask you to match the following kind of thing. Questions can be expected. So, crossbreeding, mutagenesis, polyploidy, protoplast fusion, transgenesis, genome editing, etc. Important, can be asked. Moving on further, see what is gene therapy? Not editing kind of thing. It is a technique through which a new DNA is introduced into a patient to treat a genetic disease. So, the new DNA usually contains a functioning gene to correct the effects of the non-functioning gene. So, that is gene therapy. Therapy done by using genes, gene therapy. Next is gene splicing. The term is important, gene splicing. So, gene splicing is the process of chemically cutting DNA in one organism and inserting it into the DNA strand of a vector. Vector, that will be usually a plasmid. The DNA is cut using special chemicals called as restriction enzymes. Okay, through this techniques, microorganisms are genetically engineered. See, these are genetic engineering tools, gene therapy, gene splicing, so that embryonic stem cell mediated gene transfer, etc. are possible. Literally important, gene therapy and gene slicing. Okay, splicing, not slicing, it is splicing. Next is CRISPR case 9. You know about CRISPR case 9, literally important. It is a genome editing tool, naturally occurring defense mechanism in bacteria. It consists of two molecules. One is for scissors, molecular scissors is there. Next is a guide RNA, gRNA we used to call that. That binds to DNA and guides the case 9 to right part of the genome. So that is with respect to case CRISPR case 9. And scientists can use the DNA repairing machinery to introduce changes to one or more genes in the genome of the cell of interest. So CRISPR case 9, you should note that they act as a pair of molecular scissors then a guide RNA is also there, important, CRISPR case 9, you may be knowing it, again questions can be expected, so CRISPR case 9. And see, next is an important topic, this is a classification uh, like I did, see technologies by government, for example, technologies that are given to public, okay, that are open to public, public related technologies can be asked. So, these will be DigiLocker, it was once asked in UPSC, PMAP, you know PMAP was once asked, UPI, Unified Payment Interface, this Paytm, everything, NPCI, National Payment Corporation of India, you can visit the website of NPCI, Arugya Setu, Fastag, you know Fastag in vehicles, digital signature, all these are government implementing some technology, all these are government initiated technologies, any technologies coming to your mind? Government initiated technologies. See, DigiLocker for public utility. Okay, documents. Then, DigiLocker Beam. See, what I have come across my mind, I have included DigiLocker Beam, UPI, NPCA, Arugya Sedu, FastTag, DigiSignature. See, this RFID and all can be said. RFID technology. Okay, RFID. See, in uh, this uh, Metro Cards and all, we have RFID technology. Fast tag, okay, fast tag included, then all these are technologies by government, okay. So probable areas, these can be repeated again, see rupee, e rupee card, etc. can be repeated again. So probable areas I haven't included, you may please note that important technologies by government can be asked. Moving on further, we have energy, see again an important topic, see biofuel, very important, biofuel basics, you should know, biofuel basics and biomass gasification, types of biofuels, byproducts already asked by UPSC. Biofuel generations, we will now look into. National Biofuel Policy 2018, you have to look into. Nuclear energy, India's three-stage nuclear program, what is nuclear fission, fusion, heavy water, thorium, uranium, etc. are focus areas, really important. So, next is unconventional gas reserves. See, UPSC has already asked about coal bed methane, methane hydrate, shale gas, etc. And renewable energy, what is UPSC's favorite area is solar and wind energy. So, you should have a thorough understanding about solar energy and wind energy, photovoltaic cell, fuel cell, solar water pumps, offshore wind energy turbines, etc. are important. So, moving on, see probable areas, first one is India's nuclear plan. 
Okay, see India's three stage nuclear plan can be asked. See first stage we have pressurized heavy water reactor. See what is the input? Uranium plus deuterium oxide. What is the output? Plutonium. Second is, second stage is fast breeder reactor. Input plutonium plus uranium mixed oxide. Output is uranium 233. Thorium based reactor. Third stage nuclear plan. Input thorium plus uranium 233. Output is energy. See, this is India's third stage nuclear program, three stage nuclear program, just the basics will do. And you know what is the difference between fission and fusion. See, what is happening in sun? Fusion, very good, fusion. Hmm? I didn't get you. In order to produce energy, nuclear energy, in order to produce nuclear energy. Okay, next is important nuclear plants in India. Okay, very, very important, very important. Kaiga is there, Kudangulam, Kalpakam, Mithivardi, Kakrapar, all these places can be asked. Okay, literally important, you should go through the map. Very, very important. You might have studied this in your geography also. Very important. Next is what is green hydrogen? See, green hydrogen, grey hydrogen, so many hydrogens are there. I have included only green hydrogen. It is a hydrogen gas produced through electrolysis of water. Electrolysis of water. It is an energy intensive process for splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen using renewable power. And key takeaways of green hydrogen policy. India has come up with a green hydrogen policy. The new policy offers 25 years of free power transmission. And this means that green hydrogen producer will be able to set up a solar power plant in Rajasthan to supply renewable energy to green hydrogen plant in Assam. It would not be required to pay any interstate transmission charges. Really important, the government has come up with a green hydrogen policy. Green hydrogen policy. Important. Moving on further. Yes, yes. Yes, electrolysis on water vapor. Yes. Ah, yes, hydrogen fuel, yes. See, categories of biofuel. See, all your doubts will be clarified at the end of the session. And uh, see, if it is possible, I will come another day also, so that you may please go through the material and study these stuffs and come, so that we will have a session. We will have an outside session, not a classroom session, so that we will discuss the stuff once more. Okay. Not a pass, part of triple R, we will discuss. Because after studying only, you will have doubts. Okay, now you may be just listening, you may not be having doubts, but when you start reading stuffs, often doubts may arise. So, we will discuss that later. Okay, after the class, if you have any doubts, I will clarify it, no worries. And see, categories of biofuels, we have first generation biofuels, second generation, third generation and fourth generation. First generation is made from food sources. First generation biofuel is made from food resources. Second generation is produced from non-food crops, like not edible and waste food like stems, husk, wood chips, fruit skins, etc. See, match the following kind of questions can be expected. First generation biofuels, second generation biofuels. We have third generation biofuels from algae. Third generation is from algae, example butanol. Fourth generation, these are genetically engineered products. Okay, genetically engineer, engineered materials are used for the input of four generation biofuels and these crops are then converted to fuel using second generation techniques so first generation food crops second generation non food crops third generation algae fourth genetically modified organisms okay four generation of biofuels really important moving on further see this is again a very very important topic that is data transfer technology and connectivity technology data transfer technology and connectivity technology so focus areas your focus areas should be wi-fi li-fi we already discussed near field communication already asked by upsc wimax see kiss connectivity optical wireless communication transfer of data over voice 5g 4g 3g we already discussed internet protocol virtual private network border gateway portal important these should be your focus areas. I will be discussing KISS connectivity. The name is quite uh, like what? Interesting, KISS connectivity and we have border gateway portal also. See what is probable areas? See what is KISS connectivity? KISS connectivity is a wireless data transfer technology from a California based startup KCR. 
the company is focused on reinventing the way of connectors on any mobile or computer hardware currently exists. See, they won't touch each other. Okay, that is KISS technology. The technology replaces the need for different ports and cables. There is no need for portals and cables. So, it is a wireless data transfer technology, KISS technology. Okay, important KISS connectivity. It is KISS connectivity. Sometimes questions can be expected. Next is BGP, Border Gateway Protect. Protocol. See, it is the protocol underlying the global routing system of the internet. It manages how packets get rerouted from network to network through the exchange of routing and reachability information among edge router. So, BGP directs packets between autonomous systems and BGP creates stability by guaranteeing routers can adopt root failure. See, it, it shows rerouting and all. Okay. Border Gateway Protocol. So, when one path goes down, see this is important, when one path goes down, new path is quickly found by border gateway protocol. So, BGP makes routing decision based on paths defined by rules or network policies set by network administrators. So, that this crowding can be avoided. That is the significance. Border gateway protocol. Questions can be expected. Clearly important. Moving on further, see information technology. Information technology. See, information technology, your focus areas should be quantum computing, edge computing, supercomputers. In emerging technologies, we have already discussed about quantum computing and edge computing. So, now is supercomputers and some cyber warfare. See, what is cyber warfare? Cyber espionage has been believed to have started widely from 2007 when a campaign known as Rokra began. Rokra. Just keep a note of it. Rokra very historical perspective, not so important. We have Stuxnet virus, flame virus, red October victims. You may please go through it. Stuxnet virus, flame virus. See, flame virus is also known as flamer or sky viper. It attacks computer that run windows. It was discovered in 2012. And Stuxnet virus, it is believed to have been developed by Israel and US and was aimed at crippling Iran's infrastructure, essentially Iran's nuclear development infrastructure, stuck net virus, stuck net virus. And Red October victims, it is a report by Kaspersky Lab which initiated a new threat. Research revealed a large scale cyber espionage network which is called as Red October victims. Again important. Just go through it. These terms can be asked, okay. These terms can be asked. Stuck net virus, flame virus, Red October victims. Moving on further, we have supercomputers. See, what are supercomputers? They perform at or near the currently highest operational rate. Okay, supercomputers. So, generally, petaflop is a measure of supercomputer. Petaflop. See, currently, Param Ganga was in news. Param Ganga was in news. That is why I have included this topic. And they are primarily designed to be used in enterprises and organizations, weather forecasting, scientific research, intelligence gathering, analysis, data mining, etc. So, we have first supercomputer called as param see param stands for supercomputers param okay param param 8000 first supercomputer china has the maximum number of supercomputers in param shivai the first supersonic computer assembled indigenously followed by param shakti param brahma param yukti param sanganak uh, sanganak i don't know the pronunciation all these are supercomputers now recently param ganga is also there param ganga Okay, and 2020 Param Siddhi, high performance computing artificial intelligence was also in use. Param Siddhi. See, all this Param kind of things comes under supercomputers. Important. Moving on further, see, malwares you know, different types of malwares are there. One is virus. These are generally attached to an email. Virus, you know. Ransomware, they encrypt your files and then demands a ransom. Ransom means money to return the data to the user. Third is Scareware. The user would be taken to a page to purchase a fake program. Next is Spyware. It can monitor all forms of communication and interaction on a device. Example, Pegasus. Pegasus was in use. Next is Trojan. This application is actually stealing personal data, spying or even crashing your computer. Adware is there. Will pepper the user with unwanted ads. Ad, advertisements. Adware. Okay. To attempt get them to part with their money. So, viruses, ransomware, scareware, spyware, trojans, adware, important, can be asked. Moving on further, next is defense technology.